All right, kiddo. Time for bed. Hmm? Please read me another chapter before I go to sleep. Okay, but after that, it's lights out. Okay. <laughs> All right. So this chapter is about a pirate named Captain Crown who lived right here in Louisiana. Maybe even in this very house. That's scary. Some folks believe he hid his treasure deep in the swamps. And it's there where his ghost forever dwells to punish those who go looking for his gold. Daddy, are ghosts real? Of course not, sweetie. It's past your bedtime. Time for sleep. Hmm? <laughs> 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 What was that? Daddy, I'm scared. No, you get under the bed. <laughs> yes. Hello, my friends. My friends, this is my friends. This is my friends. This is my friends. This is my friends. me. It's been a while since I've played this game. This was the very first game I believe I recorded as a full let's play of this channel. And it was about time we revisited this game after a long time. Still got the best intro. Best MCF intro ever. That's so good. Anyway, let's play. Here we are. And as he mentions Dark Grove, I unfortunately am not able to play Dargo because it doesn't work on Windows 10. If it did, I would play it. It's unfortunate, but here we go. The music in this game is just awful. Oh. So good. So, to quote myself from the previous game, when I first played this, somebody is missing. Pay attention to that, that's important. 1971 was when This game, plus Dark Grove, plus Shadow Lake, and Escape from Ravenhorst, all have live action people in it. I wish they would come back and do this again because. It was really, really realistic. So we have to talk to Miss Lawson, who is this person. Detective, I'm glad you've arrived. My daughter and I are worried sick about the disappearance of my husband, Marcus. We just moved here to Louisiana. Now he's missing, and I don't know what to do about it. The locals are all too afraid of some ridiculous curse to help us search for him. You're the only one who can find him and return him safely to us. Okay. And guess what? We can ask questions. Not long after we moved in, my husband became convinced this place was cursed by a ghost. The ghost of a pirate. Can you believe such nonsense? He overheard the neighbors rambling on about a pirate's hidden fortune. A few days ago, he finds a map he believes has clues to the hidden treasure. He gets completely obsessed, starts tearing this place apart, and now he's missing. Hmm. Now, this game is one of my favorite Mr. Case Files, besides, of course, Dire Grove, for many reasons. Because it's just awesome. It really is. And so we're going to play through this. It's going to be quite the experience for those that don't know about this game. And for those that do, 
It's nostalgia. My husband found a map of the property not long after we moved in. With all the locals' talk of pirates, he thought it might be some sort of treasure map. <laughs> it's there, on the couch, but it looks like the dogs had its way with it. You might have to search around a bit to find the missing pieces. There's some tape around here to keep it together. How helpful of you. I know how to play the game, game. This is Howie, or Pippi. I, I wish that was Howie, don't know why. But that's the map. It's... The Sing Bitter Days. Of course, Pippi won't let me have the piece because it's in his food bowl. Now, unlike other Mr. Keats Files games, this one doesn't have um, morphing ob- well, it does have morphing objects, but it's kind of different. I suppose you could say... Nope, it's just rugged, dead-on... Oh yeah, something's in the music camps. It's just rugged, dead on art. Like, look at this place. It looks good. It looks real. Like, this place just looks so good. It actually. Yeah, I'm not sticking our hammer down there. After. I used to question that, but after seeing as many horror movies as have been about the rains, I'm not surprised. Come growling and snarling at me. Here, take this. The broom. Pictures and thick clear coats of dust. Yeah, no one's been in here forever. like you've got the map piece back together all right if nothing else it should help you get your bearings around the estate you might want to begin your investigation by speaking with mary the cleaning woman we hired it sounds like she's working in the bedroom upstairs again thank you so much for helping us detective sure let's find out more stuff we were unexpectedly willed this old estate by Marcus's great aunt. He thought it was our big break. After some discussion, we sold our house and moved here from Ohio. If only we'd known what a run down dump this place was. Hmm. Our daughter Magnolia was the last person to see her daddy before he disappeared. I'm not sure I believe her. As she also claims to have seen a ghost that night. <laughs> I'm afraid all of this has just been too much for her. 
Interesting. So you can pause and read this if you want. I'm not going to read it, because I've read this before. Let's go. Detective, my name is Mary. Mary Lee. My husband and I found work here by way of an advertisement placed by Mrs. Lawson. They needed some help fixing up the place, and times being what they are, we gladly accepted. Certainly is a shame about her husband gone missing. Between me and you, there's something not quite right about this place. Well, why don't you tell me about it? It's been kind of lean for my husband and me. The bank foreclosed on our house. So we got to make do by finding jobs place to place. One of the nice things about working for the Lawsons, they let us stay in that old carriage house down the road a ways. How nice of them. Poor child. She ain't been out of that room in days. Can't say I blame her. If I saw a ghost taking away my daddy, while well, I'd hide my head under the covers, too. She only comes out when she's hungry. Then she locks herself back inside. Ghost? Of course I believe in ghosts. Local folks say that there's a pirate ghost that walks along the hall in the manor with us. Now, I ain't got time to be jawing with you. Not when there's work to be done. Now, why don't you make yourself useful and go get me some cleaning supplies and put them in that chest down by the foot of the bed? I love this game. I love the dialogue in this. It's a cat. See it? Look. There he is, see? This old. She's right about that. thing about this game is finding everything. It can be a bit taxing. Just a bit. Just a small bit taxing. It was like that when I got here. Don't 
me. Okay, so we're not gonna break in there. But we'll break in somewhere. Oh boy, another thing I forget about the older games is that you have to do a lot of treasure hunting. It can get a little bit, as I said, taxing. Go away! Leave me alone! What if I don't wanna? <laughs> Sound like someone I used to know. There's a reason why we did that. And I believe we need the hammer for the upstairs, right? Right? I'll read this. Oh, I have big heads in the way for you to be able to read some of this. So hold on. There you go. No, you can. Eventually, we're going to be able to use the... Shit. There is a bucket. Wow. Okay. And now there needs to be... somewhere vacuum, whatever that may be. Hmm. Where could it be? <laughs> right, well, we'll come back to some of this game until then. We'll find the light bulb in the next episode. Leave a like and subscribe as always room for more stuff for you. Bye everyone.